we have this uh, Samsung S9 which uh, needs an FRP removing so what we do first of all the, we need some files that I have downloaded and I will put the link in the description below uh, and the, the files are basically we need combination file which is this this is the combination file which I will put the link in the description below and we also need a full firmware uh, for the phone which again I will put the link in the description below uh, so we start by putting this into uh, download mode this is by holding pixby button and volume down at the same time power so you keep holding it until you see this volume up to continue then you continue um, yeah then you will connect it to the computer to be picked up uh, to do this you would need an Odin, Odin file uh, which I would uh, give you the link to download if you don't have it uh, to use the combination file to flash the phone once the flash is done and the procedure is complete uh, then what you can do is uh, uh, remove the FRP lock and after that you would flash the phone with a full firmware which I will show you how to do again uh, okay now that's done the factory battery is done the combination the phone starts up what you're gonna do is press on uh, settings you go to the system and about device you find build number and you press on that seven times until the developer mode is enabled and uh, you click on develop developer options enable OEM and lock in and allow uh, the USB debugging is usually uh, allowed by default so you finish on that you only have to do just turn off the phone and then again you put the phone into download mode uh, then you see check you can see the FRP lock is already off okay after all the steps that I showed you to do on the combination uh, we put the phone into download mode here when you put it in the download mode it should be off the lock should be off here yeah then the file here downloaded which I will try to upload and send you the uh, download link so you can download it after that you unzip the file and then you load Odin uh, the connection it's it's ready to be flashed now so uh, bootloader we find it in here go down to the right model yeah so we have bootloader here that's done so AP you put AP which AP usually takes longer because that's the uh, biggest file in the download uh, files in the combination files so it takes a bit of time but it will come up it's ready here you click on start so flashing of the phone is started as you could see and it is gonna take a while to finish so let's just put on this and wait for the procedure to finish everything is done, pass so we are waiting for the phone to come on now it's installing system updates I will show you when we go through it again you can now con disconnect the phone from the computer, by the way, if you wanted to. 
show you the setup procedure well this is now almost done it's setting up the files uh, we could go through it in detail okay yeah it's got a little black dot but that's not the cause of concern for us so we go back, change the language to English, United Kingdom, OK, start. As soon as this appears and the next is clickable, you know that there is no Google account. OK, end user license agreement. And agree. Okay, next, 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 no thank you, skip this step, we'll set that up later. Okay, then that's, so that's Samsung account, skip, skip, don't restore, next, and finish. Okay, now you know that the phone is cleared. Okay, everything is going to be fine. Yeah, if you go to check the accounts, accounts, there is no accounts. So if you want to just be on the safe side, you could do one uh, more reset. So skip that. Reset. If you want it to be on the safe side, make sure everything is okay. Yeah, you do one more reset and everything is going to be done. It's fine. Okay. Thank you for watching and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so we can keep up the good work. Thank you.